Here we go. Can you see? Yes. And am I on the right screen? Good, excellent. Sorry about that. Yeah, my name is Kevin Begg. I am the owner of Estancia Los Potreros. And this is a family ranch, as Joanna just said, in the middle of Argentina, um, in a province called Cordoba, in the mountain ranges of the Sierras Chicas. It has been an estancia actually since 1574, when the Spanish immigrants uh, reached this area and started farming cattle on these gentle hills. Long before Estancia Los Potreros became involved with the tourism industry, the Begg family were a well-known livestock farmers in this area. The primary use of the farm was to breed Aberdeen Angus cattle. Uh, both my grandfather and my father, who appear in this photograph, were very much involved in what the Estancia was then, and hopefully remains today. As a child, I remember many families living on the land. The local primary school on the edge of the Estancia was full. A sense of community was strong among these families and everyone felt that they belonged to something special. Respect, community, and a profound connection to the land was passed down from generation to generation. These were the true gauchos of Argentina. Although not a gaucho myself, I do feel very much part of this community and tradition. I seem to identify with their way of life. 100 years after my grandfather purchased the first part of this farm, this land, tradition remains strong today. We still successfully produce Aberdeen Angus and have a herd of over 100 horses, which are mainly bred on this estancia. We also have introduced tourism in the last 20 years, and we now share our daily life with visitors from all over the world. The Estancia is run by our team of young gauchos. These gauchos, like myself, are third and in some cases fourth and fifth generation on this farm. My head gaucho in actual fact is the grandson of my grandfather's head gaucho. It is this responsibility of maintaining this way of life that I think I have inherited and feel passionate about and feel that it is my responsibility to extend into the future. So who is the gaucho? Who is the person or families that lived on this farm for so many generations? Well, folklore will let you believe uh, through Argentine books, poetry and song that they are nomadic people who travel across the pampas of Argentina. But in actual fact, they are so much more than that. They are gentle people under a mantle of hardship, respectful family people who are very involved in their communities. The gauchos have a deep respect for the land, its animals and nature, stemming from their dependence on the environment for their livelihood. This relationship between the gaucho and land fosters a strong sense of stewardship, where the health of the land is intrinsically linked to their own well-being. We follow today many of the farming practices that have been passed down through the centuries that they have lived on this land. They have obviously centered around the, the farming activities that are, require them to have a collective effort, such as cattle drives, working in corrals, fencing, horse taming, and many more activities. These tasks are often done in groups, fostering a spirit of teamwork and mutual reliance.
The gaucho lifestyle is deeply rooted in a strong sense of community and a profound connection to the land. This way of life, characterized by traditional cattle ranching, horseback riding, and a semi-nomadic existence, creates these connections in several ways. Skills and knowledge are passed from generation to generation, obviously within family units. Their transmission of expertise fosters strong family ties and a collective commitment to maintaining gaucho traditions. The gaucho is also a very important part of history in Argentina. Argentina became one of the wealthiest countries on earth at the beginning of the 20th century, uh, mainly due to the cattle and beef industry. The gauchos were obviously a huge part of that as well. There is a however, though, in all stories, I, I would say that modern farming practices, the need to increase yields for economic survival and rapid population growth, among lots of other uh, reasons, have uh, created a change in Argentina and the change on this estancia. A clear example of these changes is climate change. We are surrounded, as I speak, sadly, by massive bushfires that this region is suffering at the moment. Over the last few days, 50,000 hectares of land have been burnt. We feel, as a family, we feel that something must be done. We feel that change must come through. And that challenge for us as a family is to create an economic environment and framework that will foster and support these gaucho families and their values and enrich the culture so that they can have a lifestyle that was so prevalent on these lands before uh, change started to take place. By introducing tourism as a means to create more opportunities, not only for the gauchos, but for their family members as well, we are able to start the process of reverting some of the changes previously mentioned. As I also clearly provide, it also clearly provided, provides an income for my family and the possibility for us, as well as our gaucho families, to return to the land that we have looked after for so many years. By creating an economic environment that attracts gauchos and their families back to the land, we can start undertaking so many other activities and projects which would have never been previously considered. Good farming practices, grass-fed cattle, rotating grazing, reintroduction of lost vegetation and tree cover, just to mention but a few. We must never forget that there are many challenges ahead. Whilst tourism can help preserve some aspects of gaucho culture, there is a risk that it becomes commercialized or staged, losing its authenticity in the process and harming the culture and community around us. These challenges highlight the tension between preserving traditional ways of life and adapting to the reality of modern technologically driven agriculture and life in general. It is a very difficult balance to maintain, but a very worthwhile journey. So the way forward, clearly tourism has created the environment and the financial framework that it has, has allowed us to preserve a cultural identity that was rapidly disappearing. It has also given us the means to undertake changes to our farming practices that will not only create good husbandry, 
but also promote local vegetation and biodiversity. By working with the land's natural ecology and maintaining mixed pastures, traditional gaucho rotating farming supports a higher level of biodiversity, including native plants, insects, and a return of wildlife. Not only do we have um, a way forward there, we have also started a program to restore the old buildings on the Estancia for returning families um, who wish to come and live back on the Estancia. Now in our second year of restoration, we envisage this program will continue for some time to come. This produces work for our local community, not only for our gauchos living on the land. This growth in our tourism has also allowed us to reach out to other communities in need around Argentina. In particular, an early employment in our tourism enterprise has brought us close to communities in the north of Argentina and created a long lasting link to other ways of life who are similar to our gauchos. So where do we go from here? The future for Estancia Los Potreros not only means prosperity for our individual community, the opportunity for so much more is present. Efforts to preserve the gaucho culture include cultural festivals, educational initiatives, promotion and funding of our local school that has lots of children once again, and sustainable ranching practices that honor traditional methods while adapting to modern needs. Balancing tradition with an acceptance of current economic and environmental realities is key to sustaining the gaucho way of life. These changes not only affect us, but encourage our community as a whole. Neighboring farms have started to take up the challenge and quickly see the economic advantages that farming and tourism can bring to them as well. But finally, we must not forget the Estancia also provides the opportunity for our guests, visitors from all over the world, to participate in something very special and experience the hospitality of our families and our growing community. It is their contribution that has made all this possible. Hopefully, this is just the beginning. Thank you very much.